hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Monkey Minds and Monkey Minecraft. I am Monkey DKS, and I just want to say monkey one more time. Um, it's been a while since I've done an LP, and um, I've been doing a bunch of things in between. I've been doing some hardcore stuff. I've been finishing my parents' kitchen. I've been uh, working in a lot of real-life things. Uh, not a lot of Minecraft things. The hardcore was great because I got to record six episodes in one sitting, and I decided to split them up, so I've been doing that for a couple days. But I'm now out of episodes, and uh, and I want to get back to this anyway because I love it. And I just figured I'd show you guys the new open I made. So I came into the creative world on Monkey Minds, and uh, and I made this, this new logo, which I'm pretty happy with. If you remember the old one, hang on, I'll put it right here. That's the old one. So I tried to match the, the text a little bit, but that kind of text is very, very difficult to do with dirt blocks. So I came up with this new one, and then I had to film it while trying to fly straight and not keeping things moving around. And to do that, I actually cheated quite a bit. Um, let me fly back here so I can kind of give you an idea. Actually, let me take off F1 also. So by the way, when you're flying and you go like this with a sword, you fly slower and smoother. Also, when you hit F8, your movements become nice and smooth, so it looks prettier. Anyway, um, I'll just turn myself around. If you look back here, I, I did this on a, on a lower fog distance, too, so you wouldn't be able to see this. I have two floating tunnels, which look a little strange in the middle of the air, but what I actually did was I made myself a box. This is bedrock, and I changed my texture pack, so bedrock is completely invisible. And I flew along like this. With F1 on, you can't see that. Uh, and I turned on my F8, and I was flying through. And as I went underneath, I just went like this. And I, then I did it in reverse a couple times. And uh, so this is this is my logo. And to make it really pretty, let's see. Nope, wrong one. To make it pretty, I did it at night, but I had to make all of this stuff glow. So there's hidden glowstone all over this that's just out of sight. It's on all the, the far edges. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch on the back. Actually, the entire back of the face is glowstone, just to make it all kind of glow through the front. Um, so all the bottom and the outsides are... Oh, I'm not moving anymore. I've, oh, I'm standing on it. I've run into one of my invisible tunnels. Um, so that's, that's how I made this logo. It was, it was a lot of fun to make. I did do it in creative, uh, because this would take me probably a month to do by hand. Especially because, you know, you'd have to build scaffolding way out here to look at it. But you couldn't have the scaffolding in your way to look at it. So you'd have to build the scaffolding so it goes all the way... Get off of F8. So it goes all the way over there and then comes over here and then you stand here and you're like, Oh, that's nice. And then you realize, oh wait, I'm too close and I have to back up my scaffolding. Anyway, it'd be a mess. But I'm, I'm, I'm really happy... Tunnel. I'm really happy with how the Minecraft logo came out. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cracks in it if you look at the real one. And uh, I, I didn't do as many in the N as I wanted to. Um, because I really wanted, uh, cause the, the N actually calls for vertical ones and vertical ones look terrible. Uh, I did take a chunk out of this one, which was a vertical one before, but, um, uh, but this was a lot of fun to make. But that being said, let us do a quick cut and go back to the lighthouse. And man, it's been a while since I've been here. Okay. So I have two plans for today. I have one plan for today. I had two, but now I can't remember what the other one was. That's weird. Anyway, I really want to finish the top. I think that's going to be my goal. I'm going to hop up there, and I'm going to mess with lava, and I'm going to try not to die, and it's going to be fun. Also, I'm out of pork. That was the other thing. I'm out of meat, so I really need to make a uh, animal cooker, and I need to figure out the best way to do that. So I'm going to be spending some time on that. I don't know if I'll have time this episode, but we shall find out together as it happens, or you might find out just after it happens, but I'm not sure. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some glass and material, and I'm going to head up top, and I will meet you up there. I never end up going where I say I'm going to go. I always say I'm going to, you know, hey, I'm going to go get some tools, get some glass and, and some buckets and get ready, and then I'll meet you up there, and then I meet you somewhere else. People are going to stop believing me soon. Anyway, I realized the other day I hadn't come look at this in a while. I wanted to see if we fixed everything. I didn't even remember. So let's find out. I got one. Yeah, I'm going to have to put pistons in. It's just... Because uh, it does work. It's just random how it works. I got rid of all the lighting glitches. 
There's no more sections that stay lit. There we go. It's just weird. Oh, crap. Now I have to replant. Okay, I'll be back again. This time I really will meet you up top, I think. Maybe. Alright, now I really am on my way back up. And it's been a while since I've done anything with uh, the outside of this lighthouse. And I do still have this ugly, stupid scaffolding on the outside. I just can't figure out what to do with it. Everyone says, yes, make a spiral staircase on the outside, but it just there's no way to do it so it looks good and works well. See, because my um, requirements for a staircase are I have to be able to push forward and then not have to think about it again. But this one I have to push forward and I have to, you know, well, I'm sorry, push forward and jump and not think about it again. But this one I push forward and I jump and then I correct and then I push forward and then I stop and then I have to move and, and, it's, and it's a pain in the neck. Um... This doesn't bother me at all because this is scaffolding. This is just jumping fail. Actually, I could get rid of this one and it would be easier to walk around and I could still jump to it. Anyway, um, and I, I can't do that while making it look good and work well at the same time. Um, I could make it probably look nice, but it would be a pain to walk up. Or I could make it um, work well, but not look nice. Anyway, so that's that's this is my problem. So... This is the area I have trouble with. The rest of it I'm okay with. So I'm going to open this up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some source blocks anywhere I can because I want to be able to reuse the lava again. And then I will fill the rest with gravel instead of waiting for it to fall down. That's all the empty buckets I have. Well, so be it. Oh, that's full. <laughs> and see, now this is a new source block. So, alright, well, let's just do it. I know where to get more. And then I'm just going to fill this one up totally and block it off from my way. Man, this is tall. No, something's happening. No, it really is just tall. I'm not going to have nearly enough gravel. Oh, I'm putting them on half. That put half slabs down there. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> uh, all right, well, then I'm going to pull out all of the source blocks, and then I'm going to wait a while. Hmm... I have to go shower anyway. So I'll go do that while I wait. And I'll leave myself AFK up here and hope nothing kills me. See you in a bit. Okay. So. It's been about 20 minutes or so. Lava hasn't gone down a block. So I went down and grabbed a bunch more dirt. And we're going to do this the hard way. Iggy. That was the noise of someone almost falling in lava, for those who are confused. Anyway, the one thing I don't have for this project, which I'm a little sad about, is I do not have a silk touch pick, which would I, which I would really enjoy. I'm just getting rid of the whole roof because I'm confused and I want to be able to see things clearly. Um, I wish I had a silk touch pitch. That was the sound of someone who can't talk. A silk touch pick because then I could uh, recover all of these glass panes I'm about to remove. Instead, I will just lose them forever, which is all right. I'll go to the desert somewhere and get some more, and it'll be wonderful. Also, my inventory's full. It's annoying. Okay, so let's uh, dump out some dirt. Okay, so I made an internal ring here, and this is going to allow me to oops, to work from the inside without falling down, which doesn't actually hurt at all, and I'll show you that at the end of the episode, because that was really fun to do. I just did that a few minutes ago, uh, to go back down and get some more stuff, and uh, it's, it's a fun fun jump, actually. Okay, so we're in here, we're good, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start busting out glass panes. So this goes one one. Yeah, so it's just here. Okay. Glad I put the floor in. So it's this pane, but see, okay, so the problem I, I have with glass panes is that they're mid, will you stop that? The problem that I have with glass panes is that they're a pain in the neck. I should eat something. <laughs> uh, because they're like half, they um, they don't make any sense. So I'm going to bust this out, and now I have a double wide. Okay, fine. I'm going to destroy some of this. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take some of these and put them here, and here, and here, and here. So that will be the final shape. Mm, it's not so much round as it is diamond shaped. Wow, look at the rain in the lava. That's weird. So there's lava, glass, clouds, and rain all in the same spot, and Minecraft just doesn't get it at all. <laughs> That's alright. That is okay. Okay, so this is what we have. And I think this will work. I hope this will work. Um, but we'll find out. Oh, you can fall down that. That would have been terrible. I'm just going to move very slowly. All right, so let me clear out the rest of this. Um, I want to block off this lava because that lava is still okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and just make this place a little easier to walk around with some dirt. Yeah, and you may have already figured this out, but I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the neck to do. Alright, well I'm going to keep going. I will try and hit record very quickly if I fall into the lava. Okay, I at least understand what I'm doing a little bit better now. So I'm going to come along the middle. I'm just going to do all of the insides, quickly blocking out lava. And making this the rest of the curve. And this might not even be enough curve. It's the kind of thing I wish I had tested in creative before coming over here. but. That's alright. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to work my way all the way down. And then I'm going to go on the outside. Make the new outside. And then go from there. It's not going to be... Uh, I'm not going to have enough glass panes, however. So uh, this will be fun. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm perfectly safe now. This can't come over. Uh, because this is a block, even though it's hard to tell that this is a block, but this is a block right where this line is. It, it's, it's weird. Glass panes are really hard. I like them. They're just hard to work with. So, I'll be back. Alright, I ran out of glass panes. I made it to about there. Uh, Minecraft rule number one, never dig down. That is pointless because now I have to walk up four levels of stairs. Might I say again? I hate Endermen! Anyway. So, I'm going to get rid of some of this dirt temporarily. I'm going to put the lava back, which is over there. And I'm going to get myself a little bit of wood so I can get in, so I can make a boat. Lava. 
Um, and then I am going to boat along to the land of sand. Have I mentioned lately that I really hate these storage rooms? I, I have a better plan for this than what I came up with here, uh, but it's a long plan, or rather it's going to take a long time, so I haven't done it yet. All right, let's check on the map. I am going to go this way, yes? Come on, update, yeah, okay. So I'm using the live map on monkeyminds.net to see where I am. And let's go. If we just go this way for a while, there's a desert this way. Now, some people could call this cheating. Feel free. I'm doing it anyway. There are very few bucket plugins we use, and DyneMap is one of them. It's awesome because it lets us see where everybody is, what we're working on. It also helps us find deserts. All right, well, that was a grand total of 15 seconds, maybe. I was going to not talk through it so I could speed it up. And I just did speed it up, but it seems kind of pointless. I'm going to need a new shovel, too. So I'm going to collect a whole bunch of sand. And I'll meet you back on the foundation of the lighthouse, which is full of furnaces. All right, I got about five stacks. Oh yeah, every single one of these furnaces has uh, a uh, uh, um, stack of cobble in it in preparation for 1.3. So I will just switch that out with a stack of sand. I was trying to get myself some XP. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one went down. I think I glitched one out there. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we will let those cook at 350 degrees for five minutes, and then serve and enjoy. Okay, we got some more glass panes. We, in fact, have more glass panes than we have inventory space, which is excellent. Oh, this is good. I'm going to leave one stack full. Uh, let me dump some of those out real quick. Cut these guys and put them back in there. All right, let me clean this up, and I will meet you up top. Okay. Well, why did I never make a shovel when I was downstairs? Uh, I have the inside done. Now I just need to do the outside. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to dig away this floor because I don't want to come back in here again. And then jump all the way down and then climb all the way back up. Well, I guess there are other ways, but this is the easiest way. So I'm going to do that. And I will come back. Well, let me show you what it looks like because I actually didn't do that. So I have the all of this cut out. I filled in the, the trough that's underneath. Um, so this is all done. It does look a little more, more di uh, diamond-shaped than uh, circular, but I'm going to see if I can live with that before I try it. So maybe while I'm down, I will make myself a shovel. Also, I'm out of food. Wee. All right. So progress is good. I'm going to re-equip myself. Why is it dark there? Don't be dark. And I'll be back. I don't have game sounds on, do I? 
I just noticed this now. Oh yeah, that sounds more like the game. Okay, so this has to be a half slab, as does this and this. And then this has to be full. All right, and then one more full and a half. Okay, so now it comes this way, and now this comes this way. Okay, so we have that, this, this, and this. Excuse me. And as I go up, I need to bust out something. Yeah. Okay, so up we go. Slowly figuring out stupid glass panes and trying to break the right ones. All right, progress. All right, so I finished this side all the way up, and I figure since I'm almost out of glass panes anyway, I didn't bring up. My, I put some away. I'm like, I won't need that many. Famous last words. So let us take a look at that side and see if it looks more roundish. So it's the side with the dirt on it. And yeah, that's much better. Not the big giant flat, like five panes across that it was before. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay, well, good. At least we're making progress, and we like the progress. Two very important things. Also, I've switched to apples because I had a bunch. Yay fun. And we are back. So, I have now done all sides. And as soon as I get out far enough, we are going to do this. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So the dirt is the height of the, of the roof of the whole thing. Uh, yeah, that's, that actually looks round to me. That's, uh, that's much more interesting. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm actually now going to call this an episode. Hello, chicken. Um, I'm going to call this an episode, and I am going to... What does F8 do? Does that smooth out some of this? No, not at all. Um, I'm going to call this an episode. I'm going to put this together. I'm going to put it up. Next time, we are going to start the, uh, the food problem, because we have a food problem. Uh, and we are going to make some animal pens that are a little bit better. So we will do that, and I will see you guys next time. But thank you very much for watching. Thanks for putting up with my, uh, my crazy recording schedule and my lack of LP videos lately. But hopefully I'm going to pump out a couple more this week, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Have a good one.